start off with my hair this is just like old um i had my hair washed well, straightened my hair um a couple weeks ago so this is just like leftover my roots have already reverted but the ends are still like kind of straight so i'm going to do a top knot which i haven't did in a really long time so i'm gonna first just add in some leave-in conditioner this is by thank god it's natural the green tea super moist leave-in okay now that i have the moisturizer in i'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of gel to my hair my favorite gel ever eco styler y'all look how much i have left literally a crumb I gotta re-up but when I repurchase this I'm going to get the big one so it lasts longer so I'm going to take my gel smooth the base of my hair to do okay now i'm gonna do my top knot so here's my hair as you guys can see i love a good ponytail though i can't lie to you create but anyway so i'm gonna lightly twist my hair very lightly and i'm actually something that i never do i'm gonna spray a little bit of got to be on my ends and i'm going to just wrap that around um let me twist it again okay and you don't want to wrap it tight too tight because you want the top knot to look kind of full and a little messy so i'm going to secure that with a bobby pin okay How does that look okay guys so um as you can see i tied my edges down a key to having your edges laid all day um and then since we're going to brunch it might be a little warm i do live in georgia so it gets hot so we want everything to last as long as possible i went ahead and did my brows off camera nyx uh eyebrow pencil in espresso and then to carve them out i just used la girl pro concealer and toffee um i did prime my face with my smashbox photo finish primer and normally i would use maybe a different primer but like i said because we're going to brunch we probably are going to be sitting outside or whatever um this just helps the makeup last longer now i'm so excited because i am trying as you guys saw by the title i'm trying the fenty beauty ease drop skin tint this is how it looks i'm in the color or in the shade 20 um so we're about to see i'm excited because i am not a foundation person i like to do tinted moisturizers or just concealer and powder i don't really like foundation um so when fenty rihanna came out with this blurring skin tint i was like oh child let me see what they talking about what they talking about what they talking about 
Should I use this with a sponge or a brush? I feel like a sponge would give it more of a skin-like approach. But sometimes I feel like the sponge just absorbs everything. You know what? I feel like this actually would be good with the stippling brush. So I think I'm gonna do that. Oh, ooh, here we go. Is this my shade? Sure, I hope this, how much do you need? Oh my God. I'm gonna do one half of my face first. Because I wear the shade 420 in the Fenty Soft Matte Pro Filter Foundation. So it recommended that I get the color 20 in this. Okay. Okay, very loose as a goose. Don't get me started. Very loose. I honestly don't know how much you're supposed to use. So at this point, I'm just doing whatever. I'm going to do about that much. But also, like, using a tinted moisturizer or a skin tint for occasions when like brunch you're going to be most likely outside um, on the patio on the rooftop or whatever um it's best to use like a skin tint or a tinted moisturizer because you don't want nothing super thick and cakey on your face while you outside and it could be hot you might i don't know about y'all but i'm a sweater um so i don't know if i like it with this sippling brush So first recommendation off rip, don't use it with a uh, stippling brush as I continue to use it with a stippling brush. But don't do it with the stippling brush. Okay, what's it giving? Giving very much skin, <laughs> the skin I'm in. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and slightly set it with just my right hand man my sephora micro smooth powder in deep and i'm using a real techniques blush brush and also what i love about tinted moisturizers or skin tints is that you don't have to really set it like extremely well like you would a regular foundation because it's not as thick it's very loose and um light weight which is what i love so now i'm going to go ahead and highlight or conceal under my eyes the concealer that i'm using is the maybelline instant age rewind and the hourglass vanish concealer in the shade maple Best apple juice in the world. Okay guys, now I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier uh, Translucent Setting Powder in Honey. Honey, yeah, you so sweet. Honey, all you gotta do is a little bit more. Oh, you're my favorite drink. Hey, you make me think, nah. Honey, oh, oh, you so sweet. Y'all, I normally never use a sponge to set my under eye, but I just wanted to try something different. Just, you know, trying out new techniques and seeing what I like and what I don't like.
If y'all aren't hip to my vlogs yet, become aware, okay? It will be right on the screen. Now it's time for me to contour or bronze my face, whatever, and I'm so nervous and excited and anxious to because if you guys haven't checked out my sephora haul it'll be right here on the screen i did a sephora haul and i purchased the charlotte tilbury um airbrush bronzer and this is in four deep and this is how she is looking boo so very nice and rich um so let's y'all just love when my hair is pulled up and pulled back like i like wearing my natural hair out i like wearing my real hair um straightened or whatever but it's something about a good snatch it really just brings it all together okay here we go i'm so scared what do i do just tap it and Uh, what I just carved out my cheeks with was that same Laura Mercier um, powder. <sighs> and as y'all saw, I also put the bronzer on my eye and then kind of brought it down just the inner corner of my nose just a little bit. I don't know what to say about the powder right now. Um, I mean, I like it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let y'all know the finished verdict once all my makeup is done. So I'm actually going to do a wing eye and probably throw on some eyelashes and then I'll be back for the lip. All right, guys, this is how we are looking so far. I'm going to go ahead and set my face. This is also the from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Now I'm actually going to go in with my Bobbi Brown highlighter in Afternoon Glow. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Like a champagne kind of color. Um, because it's getting warmer and I just want to look golden. I would normally go for something a little more golden, bronzy. But um, I just wanted to use this one today. So just a little bit. I don't like doing a lot of highlighter. And I'll take like my finger and put a bit on my nose. Y'all, why well, I just forgot I ain't got no eyelashes on. Okay guys, so I have some lashes on. These are, I don't even know, I think these are Ardell Wispy maybe. It's a like a very um, natural wispy eyelash because that's just always my vibe but let's go ahead and do the lips so i'm using the milani understatement lip liner in rich cocoa my favorite i use this all the time Then I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Amber. I'm 
Buxom Lip Gloss in, um, well, it's a plumping lip cream in Seychelles Breeze. And I did put a drop, literally a dab of the Lorac lip gloss in Southern Belle, just right in the center, just a little bit. So guys, this is the makeup. Let's go ahead and get right into the outfit portion. Okay guys, sorry about the shadow in the back, but this is what I am wearing. We are going to a more fancier brunch. So I decided to put on this little dress here. Uh, honestly, it's too big, but I'm just going to make it work for the time being. It's giving very much brunch, and I decided to carry this little, it's just like a pouch, really. So I just kind of tuck it here, because I'm going to show you all my shoes, and it kind of goes well. And since I'm, this matches the outfit so well, the Ariana Grande perfume, so I decided to wear this. Matches well. This is how we are looking. Let me bring the camera down. But this is how we are looking. Do, 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 do. Very fun, flirty, girly, casual, cute. So yeah, this is how we are looking. Yes, ma'am. I love this top knot. And then these are the shoes that I decided to wear. Just these like kind of braided sandals that uh, are very popular right now. They're really comfortable though. So yeah, this dress is from Boohoo actually, but I'm gonna send it back because it's too big. The dress is from Boohoo. This little bag here is from Target years and years ago. I have on these gold hoops from Target as well. Um, I showed y'all the perfume I'm wearing, the Ariana Grande Cloud perfume. Sit down, sit down, sit down. So hard every night and day. 